Hey folks, this is Snark with Snark's Domain. Today we're going to do some thermal pad testing with this funky contraption I made, so stay tuned, it's going to be fun. Okay folks, this is what I've got set up. Uh, I bought two pieces of copper solid copper round bar uh, inch and a half diameter by inch and a half long and then I spent a good uh, about five hours flattening the the surface first with a belt sander and then with a dia flat diamond lapping plate so it's flat to plus or minus half of a thousandth of an inch um, which is which is pretty flat then I drilled some uh, threaded holes. Well, I drilled and tapped holes in the bottom piece here. You can see three larger divots that I created. Uh, that's so I can use a two millimeter ball bearing and squish it down to um, 1.65 millimeters approximately. I'll confirm that once I do that test. Uh, and what that lets me do is do compression of the pads, but even using the, the two millimeter um, thermal pads, you can see those little divots in the surface so it actually ends up being uh, 1.88 to 1.9 millimeters each time I do the test with um, a two mil pads uh, and then put the I basically drill and cut the holes out for where the bolts are I put the pad down and then I kind of like use a toothpick and a exacto knife to like cut out tiny little holes for the ball bearings I put them in there and then I put the the top piece on and thread it down. Um, you can see I've got uh, like the threads are pretty long. Gotta imagine if that's like two inches so I can do some uh, pretty cool tests. I'll be able to test out to probably almost a centimeter or I could take these little uh, top spacers off. I had to add those because the, the threaded hole wasn't like a full inch or anything. Uh, then I use Arctic uh, MX4 and I put it on the hot plate here and then I like put this down and I like squish it down. Uh, this is not a flat surface but I'm not going to lap it at all so I just um, yeah with thermal paste squish it down there and make sure it's making good contact. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I've got this temperature sensor here that's been soldered into place and uh, I it's this one's still cooling down so it's got a couple more degrees to go uh, then I start it with this little power switch and I start a timer at the same time and see how long it takes to get to 100 degrees Celsius uh, so the faster that it the faster that this sensor takes to get to 100 degrees Celsius the better um, heat transfer that the thermal interface material is or has so if it's uh, if there's an air gap there and there's no pad it takes quite a while even though there's like I've used the ball bearings and the screws some heat will get through them uh, obviously so that does skew the test but because all the tests have the same ball bearings and the same screws um, we can negate that as a factor and just look at the difference of times I'm trying to keep it as consistent as possible so yeah stay tuned for the results here it should be pretty interesting
Okay folks, that wraps it up for our 2mm thermal pad comparison test. In first place we've got our GLID GP Ultimates. They're rated at 15 watts per meter Kelvin. It took 5 minutes flat to reach 100 degrees Celsius. In second place we've got the GLID GP Extremes. They're rated at 12 watts per meter Kelvin. It took 5 minutes and 11 seconds to reach 100 degrees Celsius. In third place we have the TGPP10 Thermal Putty. Uh, it's rated at 10 watts per meter Kelvin. It took 5 minutes 27 seconds to reach 100 degrees Celsius. Uh, in fourth place we've got an Amazon brand called Go Is Dream. They're rated at 6 watts per meter Kelvin. It took 7 minutes 8 seconds to reach 100 degrees Celsius. In fifth place we have our dry run without pads. Uh, there was a 1.9 millimeter gap uh, which all the pads were compressed to for the test. It took 14 minutes, 4 seconds to reach 100 degrees Celsius. Uh, in the future, I'm going to be doing another test with a 1.9 millimeter piece of uh, copper plate in there between the two uh, copper tubes, and then we'll get a baseline for exactly how fast we could transfer um, heat and get that top one measuring 100 degrees Celsius. So look forward to that in the future, and uh, thanks for checking out this video. Hit the like and subscribe button and uh, I'll be making some more content for you guys in the future.